Hello there. Let's talk today about the UFI camera privacy zones. So if you have a camera and you wanna have some areas that you don't want to record, you need to use privacy zones, okay? I have here a UFI Solo Cam S340. This is a PTZ camera, so it's important to know with this camera, you need to select a specific position to have uh, the privacy zone and you're gonna lose some features of the cameras because to have something behind a mask, right? For this camera, at least, you just need to have a fixed position, right? So here you have your camera. It works also for different UFI cameras. If you don't have a PTZ, don't worry, you can uh, follow the video here. It works the same way. So basically here on the settings, you're gonna look for video settings, okay? Depending on the camera, it changes a little bit, but look for video settings in privacy zones. And here you can have two of them. So you can have a square or a rectangle and you change the sizes. So basically here, just type uh, add privacy zones. And here's the warning because I'm using here a PTZ camera, the Solo Can S340, and then I'm gonna lose the control of the pan and tilt. That's a warning. So I just go to settings and here the camera just adjusts to the position that I have here is a preset. Right, so I turn the camera in a different position here, so I see better. And here I can add a new uh, privacy zone, okay? So I just hit here, got it. And now I can move the square around and I can also change the size, right? You cannot change it, uh, to, you cannot use a different format, just this format here, the square or a rectangle, right? And then I leave in this position, for example, and then I just confirm and add a new one. Just put it here, change the size, and there we go. Then I save, and there we go. Now it's going to have this square here or this rectangles here in front of the video all the time. And it's going to record everything, right? So I have the privacy zone enabled. And when I come back here to the video, I'm gonna see them there, right? So basically that's the way it works. And then you see here, the pan and tilt control is gone. So it's important to understand that if you have a PTZ camera, like, like the Solo Cam S340, you're gonna lose this feature here, right? So that's up to you. And if you want to remove it's the same, you just need to come back here to the video settings, privacy zones, and you can disable here. And let's just come back to the main screen here. You see they are gone and the PTZ is back. So I can use the PTZ. I can also use the presets. Very, very easy, right? So that's the way to go. And you can also come back there and delete the zones if you want to, right? So if I come here to the video settings, again, privacy zones, I can just hit privacy zone here. It comes back to the disposition that was set before. Then I can come here and edit, right? And I hit here the delete button, delete this one and delete the second one and I'm good to go. So pretty easy. That's the way you can work with privacy zones. You can add them or delete them. And just remember for a PTZ camera, you're gonna lose the control, right? I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here. Does, does it work for you? Doesn't uh, have problems or you have problem with something related to the privacy zone? That's good so other people can also read your comments, right? And consider subscribe to the channel as well. And I see you in the next video.